chamber music with no strings attached. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Robert Whalen. He's the director of the chamber music series for the Delaware County Symphony. Thanks so much for being with us. Great My to pleasure. see you. Good to see you. When we think of symphony, when we think of chamber music, we think of stringed instruments. Mm -hmm. We think of viola. We think of violin. Mm -hmm. But you're going in an opposite direction. Completely <laughs> opposite direction. Absolutely. Uh, you're right, there's a large body of repertoire for string instruments, string quartets, string trios, that sort of thing. And for this concert, we're featuring music from the wind section, the brass section, and the percussion section of the symphony. And let's get into the details of what will happen with no strings attached on February the 10th. As you mentioned, uh, you are featuring some of the different portions of the Delaware County Symphony, uh, including your percussion ensemble. Tell us yes. about that. Yeah, it's, it's hard to describe what a percussion ensemble is because percussion instruments, uh, there are so many that you can play. So for this concert, they'll be playing over 30 different instruments, but there are only five people playing. But, uh, so it's almost an orchestra unto itself with all the different kinds of sounds you can make. So we're playing some lighter music as well as some more serious music with the, with the um, percussion ensemble. In addition to the percussion ensemble, talk to us a little bit about the brass quintet and what we'll hear there. Yes, the brass quintet, the DCS brass quintet, is a regular guest of the chamber series and they bring a wide array of different things. So there's sometimes Renaissance music with polyphony and also some Gershwin and jazz as well. So a wide range, as you mentioned. Uh, in addition to that, a work for two clarinets and piano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this features two of our clarinetists, Donna Higgins and Michael Smith, working with our wonderful pianist Arnold Ostroff on the Tausch uh, clarinet impromptu. So we're really looking forward to that. All of this happens uh, on February the 10th. And these are some pieces that we may have never heard, because as we mentioned, when we think about going to hear the Delaware County Symphony, we may think about hearing uh, some favorites. We may think about hearing string music. Mm -hmm. But these may be some pieces we may be hearing for the first time. Absolutely. Well, all the instruments are familiar to to someone who goes to an orchestral concert. But I think I would encourage everyone to take a chance and to experiment because I think there are a lot of things in this pro program that you will enjoy. All of this happens on February the 10th at Newman University. In addition to that, let's talk about what's happening in the spring season. In April, you'll be featuring a ballet? Yes, this is our third season in a row where we do a chamber ballet with the Academy of International Ballet. And this time it will be the Carnival of the Animals, which is such a characteristic and enjoyable piece for the whole family. In addition to that, talk to us about Four Seasons of Buenos Aires. Four Seasons of Buenos Aires is inspired by Vivaldi's Four Seasons, but it has a flavor of a tango because it's composed by Astro Piazzolla, who is from Argentina. And uh, people can visit your website for more information about everything happening in the spring, as well as No Strings Attached, which happens on February the 10th. Thanks so much for being with Thank us. Thank you, Joe. We've been talking with Robert Whalen. He's the director of the Chamber Music Series for the Delaware County Symphony. I'm Jill Horner.